some handmade papers made translucent. So I'm just going to show you another trick. I was looking for translucent papers um, and I was getting vellums, which I think is some sort of tracing paper. I will have to order it and try it out. But what I did get was a lovely little video. It was like a kid's science thing. And it said that if you add oils to papers, it makes them translucent. So I'm just going to show you what it does do. This is a piece of paper with um, glitter inside it. And there's a sort of a rough piece. And you just get ground nut oil. And you rub your hands in it and then you rub it onto the paper and you'll see that it starts to go translucent and instead of the glitter being hidden inside it and I must admit I'm too impatient for this it start, the glitter starts to come through and you can see it, it becomes more evident Rub it like so, and momigami it basically. Actually, that's not actually coming out, is it very well? Try this one. Okay, so you just get the oil on your hands, and then you rub it in. And you'll see that the actual paper starts to reveal what's inside. Yeah, that's more like it. And again, it has a completely different effect. Instead of it being opaque, because you're not quite knowing what's inside, you get, it starts to come through. And once you've got the whole thing covered, you can start to momigami it. Because really, what you're doing, I used to be a antique restorer, and obviously we used a lot of oils to feed the wood. A lot of oils poli and polishes. Beeswax and linseed oil. Danish oil is another one. If you work on the principle that um, papers are simply wood pulp, then the oil is going to just feed it, isn't it? Moisturise the papers. Oh look, see what happens? It comes out lovely. And again, a completely different effect. Now this is the first time I've done this. So I don't know how well it actually paints. I mean, I don't think it'll matter. Once it's dry, really dry, I think it'll paint. But again, it'll paint in a certain way, won't it? The only thing is, I'm not sure about acrylics on it. Because acrylics don't like oil, do they? They are so plastic based. Good for your hands as well. Just going to bung a whole load more on here. You do use a lot of oil though. But you'll see, when you really work it in, it really brings it out. Look at that on that side. Oh, it's so beautiful. That was sort of coppers and reds and purples on on paper, on the paper and pinks. And I'm just mummigarming it as well, just to take the starch stiffness out of the paper. And once it's oiled, the mummigarmies really well. And there you go. Just keep going with it. Just you can see how rough I am. But you can be a lot more gentle. Okay, I'm going to leave that. 
show you another one. Oh, I mean, that is proper glittery now. For some reason, all the glitters come through. Or enough of the sparkles to turn it into something completely different. Oh, and this was just lovely. This was a piece, two pieces of tissue paper. Again, it's just a way of making paper. I am not going to say that it's a faux paper because it's not faux paper, so it's just, I suppose it's glued together when paper isn't glued, but I really am not a purist about these things. So this is just paper with lovely bits of dried hydrangea flowers inside it. And then again, if you want to make it more translucent so you see the petals through it more, you just rub it with oil. And from it being a pretty opaque thing, like so, you start to get the actual colours to come through. Oh, it's just so pretty. This side's lovely because it's got pinks in it. Obviously, lost um, patience and chucking the oil on now. And once it's absorbed on both sides, the actual paper becomes really translucent and has this completely different quality. And I wonder if over a period of time it reverts back to its original state. I'm just spreading the oil as much as I can. What I shall do for you now is really research translucent papers and see if I can find some really translucent papers either that don't need the oil or that respond really well to the oil. So there you go. And then if you just put that somewhere to dry, it probably takes about two or three days to dry off for the oil to stop being so active. Just so that you can see the difference. That's before it's been oiled. There. And that's after it's been oiled. And you can see the colours and the petals are just more evident. And that's the other side. And for some reason this side is a lot more evident. Okay. I like both. <laughs> I've just got this little bit of butterfly tissue. And I think it'll work really well on this. It'll both soften up everything, but it'll also make it translucent, won't it? So you could just apply oil to this. So that's a piece with it with oil on. And it obviously does go much, much more translucent. And you can see the butterflies on the back, see? So if you wanted to see the butterflies on the back more, there it is before and there it is after, once you put the oils on. So that's one way of making it work. I'm just going to cut this in half. Oh, it's so pretty. Both sides are lovely. You can see how translucent it makes the paper. It takes away that opaque dust and it seems to moisturise the paper like mad and makes it into something different again. But I just don't know how this would respond to paint. We shall see. Wait for the next episode. You see, look how translucent that's gone in comparison to as it was before. You can see the muck through the thing, you can't on this. Okay. Right, the last thing I'm going to show you on this video is that's the butterfly paper and that's the other side. I know it's quite, it's nice, but it's quite faded. So I was just going to see if you put a layer of matte varnish on it, whether it would soak in and turn it back into something more translucent. So again, I'm going to need a piece of cellophane because I don't want that to rip. I like that piece. I've got so much going on in here at the moment. I can't, I can't wash this piece of cellophane, but I will. The other pieces I do reuse and reuse, mainly because I'm a bit mean. Right, so just get the piece of cellophane down. And for this, again, because it's all experimental, what I'm going to use is, if I can find it, some varnish for interior wood and it is um, acrylic varnish and I'm using this because everything else is so expensive and I know or so much what 
you know, what is provided, you know, can be provided in other ways, far cheaper than they suggest. So I'm going to dilute this, probably about 50-50 water to varnish, so I don't need much. And I can use this again, mix it up. You see, I'm not really after the varnished effect, which would produce a sort of plastic finish. So what I'm after is to see if it'll make the paper, because it's dampened it, and then dries sort of clear within the dampened paper, whether it's going to do what the oil does and allow you to see the other side a bit more. I mean, I think it's probably a good thing to do on some of these papers in any case. I'm going to do it on the big butterfly paper because it just makes, fix everything down, puts a layer on top of it. it is making it more translucent once it's soaked in. So this was actually on the back, which is the tissue paper, which was more opaque. So it'll be interesting to see how that dries, whether it dries opaque again, or whether you retain some of this lovely translucent quality about it. Again, it's just experimental. See what happens, isn't it? And you're coming along on the journey with me. If you work it into it a bit, I suppose it's very important not to damage the tissue on the other side. But I'm, once this is dry, I think I'm going to go over and varnish the other side as well. And then if the paper ends up really crisp because it's got all this plastic finish on it, I'll just monogami it and, and break the lovely surface tensions of the paper until it's fabric-like again, at, at, if I want it like that. Well, that's a lot more translucent, isn't it? You can see the lovely butterflies a lot better. Okay, so that's one. I'm going to let that dry. And we'll see what it's like when it's dry. And just a quick reminder that none of these techniques are just traditional or you know just going to get you one effect. There is some lovely abstracts that I've done. The gold glitter in this tissue paper could combine be combined beautifully with this is a gold fabric backed with tissue paper, which I will combine in my abstracts. But my abstracts are going to be a separate video, so that those who don't want to see the abstracts don't need to. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Please put any comments, any of your own discoveries in the comments below. Um, and if you want to be notified when the next video is going to be uploaded, please press the notification button. Thank you very much. See you again. All the best. Oh, please remember to like and subscribe. All the best.